Hello, it is Wednesdays with JC Poo. This week's topic, I believe, is sports. I feel like our topic list is like all over the place, which is kind of sucky, because we just don't know where, like we have topics, but we just don't know when to talk about them, like when it's appropriate and stuff like that. So if you have topic suggestions, obviously just tell us and we'll do it. This week's topic is sports, and this is like the perfect week for it to be sports, because um, I've talked about this on my personal channel, and I've talked about this on here as well, but it finally happened, so I mean it's appropriate to talk about it now. I feel like the more and more I make videos, the more and more I make less sense. Anyways, I did a half marathon over the weekend, and this is the beautiful medal, and it's really awesome. And I did I showed it in my other video. I don't know if like most of you follow my personal channel, but um, yeah. So to me, it's a huge accomplishment, and I feel like I'm so braggy, like. People are asking me about it. I'm not like telling people, but people are asking me about it because they know from my social media, which is great because I don't want to be that guy that's like, so you know what I did this weekend? But then a part of me says like, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so sports, trans. I barely did anything when I was post, pre-surgery. Um, I was all met, like I wore a binder that was a bit bigger for me um, so that I can actually, do stuff and I would like run a little bit on the treadmill and I would like, I don't know, do 0.4 of a kilometer and die. I couldn't even do 1K nonstop, it was ridiculous. And so I didn't really do much. Even post-op, I tried to do some stuff, at, you know, working out at the gym and stuff like that, but I don't know, I, when I got like super, super depressed, it was like really hard to like deal with all of that stuff. So I kind of stopped. But now that I feel a lot better and the reason why I feel a lot better is one, my medication is fixed, and two, because I'm running a lot and I'm really enjoying running and it's like something that I really look forward to. Um, and when I, like when I finished the race on Sunday, I crossed the finish line, it was really amazing. Uh, I didn't stop once and I had never ran that distance before, 21K, which is 13.1 miles. I was surprised at how I was, I, I was determined to do it, but how much my determination, whatever, how much my wanting to finish it actually helped me finish it. So it's like a huge accomplishment because I always feel like I start things and I don't finish them, like, which obviously isn't true for everything. Like I've started Transtastic and I'm always on it. Um, I'm starting school and I, I stayed and I graduated with, you know, my honors degree and my undergrad and I'm doing my master's. So, but I feel like it's some like small things I get really into and then I just kind of like dies down and I'm scared that that's what's gonna happen with running. But at the moment, I'm super excited. I'm, I think I'm signed up for like five other races this year. Um, and that makes me so excited to, I don't know, running just, even though there was no, you weren't allowed to listen to your music for the half marathon this Sunday. And a part of me was bummed out, but then a part of me was like, you know what? Uh, I always feel like, because it's winter, I have so many things on me that like the earphones kind of like go everywhere. So I always have to adjust, it's too much energy. So I really liked it because you could hear everybody's feet crunching in the snow. Cause it was negative 31, which I think is negative 24 Fahrenheit. I don't know, I feel like, I feel great. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. But sports, I think, are becoming an important part of my life. And I don't want to become one of those people that thinks that everybody needs to do sports. I don't think that at all. Um, I do know that one of the reasons why I've been able to do so much in such a little time, because I only started running at the end of November, so it hasn't even been three months, and is because of the way that I eat and the way that I change, the way that I eat completely. Like, I've been vegan for over five years now, but I stopped eating processed sugars in November. So because I've really taken care of how much fat I eat, how much good fat, I don't really eat that much bad fat, I feel like it's really pushed me to accomplish this. And obviously I think the percentage it's like 20, 80% nutrition, 20% exercise, but I don't know, I feel like being vegan gave me like an advantage just because it's all plant-based and all of that protein in the plants is just, I don't know, whatever. I'm super biased, just like anybody who eats meat is super biased, whatever. So, yeah, I'm really happy about this and I'm really glad that I'm able to run and I made a video on my personal channel about how running has helped my dysphoria and I don't joke around when I say that, like, it actually helps my dysphoria. Um, <clears throat> in the beginning it didn't because I had to wear the spandex shorts because I do a chub rub in the legs. Um, but uh, after a while, 
I just said fuck it. Like I don't care if you could see my hips, it doesn't matter because you could I could like have my packer in there and it wouldn't move at all. So it would like really help my dysphoria. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Me and my corny, like I'm gonna <laughs> imagine like every video I always wear one of these now everywhere I go. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. I just did this for the video. Alright, have a swell week.